And welcome back. The warming temps, almost time to start caring for your garden once again. That's right. Soil and plants may be at the top of your list, but now is a good time to update your garden toolkit. <laughs> Garden guy Dale Kay joins us live with more and and Dale I am going to be focused and paying attention because I've been saying for years I'm going to get new tools because they're rusted out because <laughs> they've been in my garage and they get you know rained on and whatnot and I don't bring them in. <laughs> this is the Whoops. year. <laughs> you know somewhere somewhere in the back of my mind Alex that really that really doesn't surprise me because I know you and your green thumb. You know, Again, that, that story we're in an intervention makes, here. Makes I, there's a theme happening. <laughs> no, really, Dale, I, this is going to I always said you needed a, a barn boy. I always said you needed a barn boy that could just take care of the garden for you. Mm -hmm. I, I think I might have mentioned that 10 years ago. That's how yeah. long I'm sure those tools have been rusty <laughs> in your shed. I'm quite excited to be truthful because the rain today is pretty much going to wash away most of that snow and it's actually kind of a nice freshen up too and once you get these kind of spring-like showers even though we're not in April but once we get these spring-like showers it really does kind of propel us to think about gardening and now is the perfect time to take a look at maybe Alex's rusty tools in her rusty tool shed. Um, a, little, a couple of little things quick off the bat though I should mention. It is quite early to get out there and do any raking or uh, any cleanup. Um, and actually as a point of uh, reference, um, a lot of pollinators are actually harbored up in a lot of the, the old sticks and last year's growth. So not disturbing those, not doing too much cleanup um, until, it firms, until the ground firms up and the, the temperatures get a little warmer is actually really beneficial. And having a pollinator house like this is also really beneficial as well. So there's my tips. You can do a lot of indoor gardening. Uh, photojournalist Chip Elmquist just mentioned, can you plant tomatoes now? Yes, you could start tomatoes by seeds. You see a lot of um, flowers behind me. All that's good to do inside. Getting your tools ready for outside because we're only probably a week or two away. Uh, we talked about soil. Oh, we do talk about soil a lot. And really the better the soil, the greener your thumb will be. So actually having a little soil test kit just like this to determine fertility in the soil is really beneficial, particularly if you're doing some intensive gardening over the last few years in garden boxes and things like that. Nutrients do get uh, depleted. So knowing where you're at and uh, making accurate decisions on what fertility to add is really, really beneficial. Also another little gadget is a soil thermometer because as the soil temperature warms up, uh, this, these little tools give you a good key uh, to determine when it's safe to plant for different types of crops and veggies and things like that. So I always actually have this on hand. I use it for determining when to put my crabgrass preventer down as well. Also to stock up on some uh, little handy ties, it seems like perennials, tomatoes, um, all those things. Everything always needs a little staking, a little support. This uh, little floral wire or any type of twine, gardening twine, is great to have on hand. Digging implements, of course, you need to dig. Sometimes you need long handle tools, sometimes short handle tools, but essentially you need some sort of digging implement like this one. This is a radius shovel, I like this one. It has an ergonomic handle uh, and a nice safe grip for digging, which is really quite nice. And then also some gardening trowels. This is a scoop for container gardening. This one here is for planting. And I also like always having a gardening knife on hand as well. Oftentimes you start to dig around and root around in your soil and you hit those roots. This is a good way to kind of bypass um, and make some room for what you need to plant with a gardening knife just like this. Also a little hand digger just like this one saves you using chemicals so dandelions can be popping up and smiling pretty soon. Go ahead and make some dandelion wine or maybe something like that, saute them. Don't spray herbicide on them or if, you, if they are unsightly go ahead and get them out with this little hand digger, hand weeder just like this. Also um, Watering is also uh, essential. If you've got that hose that's just causing you bother and sometimes it just becomes frustrating to have a kinky hose or a hose that's uh, leaky. So having a good garden hose is always a good idea. Um, something that flexes is really, really nice. And then also a good watering nozzle just like this one. It has an easy on off shut off. Lots of fine holes. Oh, it's a little dusty. Look lots of fine holes uh, which makes it nice and gentle spray so you don't damage your flowers don't damage your young seedlings when you're planting a cultivator is always a good idea to help you plant and also a long handled hoe is really good for cultivating it also disturbs a lot of slug eggs as well so you can kind of go around your shaded areas and give the soil a little bit of rough up uh, that will help take care of slugs so having a, a couple of cultivators on hand is always a good idea and then pruning as well. I'm gonna go out 
pretty soon here and prune back my ornamental grasses. Going to prune back my hydrangeas. A pair of head shears just like this is really good. Having a good pair of pruners on hand. Felco probably makes the best pruner in the world. They're Swiss made. Um, having a sheath to keep them kind of handy on your belt. Has a little belt clip and also keeping them handy is a great idea as well. And then also a pruning saw is a good idea because you can do a lot of uh, winter or dormant pruning before the leaves actually start um, coming out. And then lastly, right in front there, I got a tip bag, really one of my favorite tools in the tool shed. And Alex, it does not rust and you can put all your kind of your debris in there and it folds up nice, hangs on the shelf. I think I covered everything I've needed. Back to you. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of buying to do. <laughs> yeah, maybe you just got to get that garden boy. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. <laughs> that makes it all so much easier and more pleasant. I'm going to get a. I one said of those. that 10 years ago. Barn 10 boy. 10 years I've been saying that. Barn boy. Can, can you find one for her, Dale? Can you find. Yeah, there's got to be some people there. All right.